not just a low sprawling bush usually with small purple pink or white flowers that grows on the hills of Scotland and England <laughs> most definitely more than a commonly used name for streets in Northeast Ohio <laughs> <laughs> you are the fun beautiful strong caring kooky and altogether ooky <laughs> woman that came into my life and immediately captured my heart so today in front of our family and friends and for every day after I am proud to be your husband I vow to always be weird <laughs> I put that there as a pet. <laughs> to uh, to be honest to be faithful to partner with you in every facet of our relationship I vow to never stop showing you how much you mean to me and I vow to always love you I love you. During our time together, you've become my best friend and a true life partner. Thank you for accepting me for who I am, and believe me, I know I'm a lot. <laughs> I appreciate that you accept my stubbornness as perseverance, my bossy nature as leadership skills, <laughs> and you not only join in on my weirdness, or not only like my weirdness, but join in. You're strong, confident, intelligent, and a calming force in my life. I promise that as we begin the rest of our lives together, I will remember that neither of us is perfect, but take time to focus on the reasons why we're perfect for each other when adversity comes our way. Going forward, we are together in potential, together in adventure, and of course, together in laughter. You are and forever will be my favorite weirdo. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to celebrate. As Heather Dross and Mike Hogan take the next step in the journey of their lives together. Now it was actually seven years ago that these two first met in one of the most romantic places known to man. <laughs> it was conference room 2F <laughs> in the Cardinal Health East building. <laughs> Today we officially become family. I want to first thank you both for allowing me into your lives and for sharing your time with your dad. And to bring that into perspective, they're now about to take part in the creation of their very own wedding time capsule. Before us over here sits the box which you have all filled up with, your letters, and they have also written letters to each other that they're going to put in there now my chance to say that by the power vested in me by the state of Ohio, I officially pronounce you husband and wife. You can totally make out in front of your family. I can't say enough about my daughter, and uh, she's just a wonderful person, and she finally met the great guy, Mike, and I just love 
uh, wish Maddox and Natalie and Mike into our family. Thank you. I first want to congratulate Heather and my dad for getting married. I am so glad that they found each other because they're such an amazing couple. They make a lot of people laugh and always are having a good time. Heather is an overall great person. I think that we can all agree on that. <laughs> Dad, you've helped me through so much. I've always been a daddy's girl. I love you so much. You're so funny and weird. I've never met anyone else who's afraid of wooden spoons. <laughs> So everybody, thank you. I know that we've, you know, we've been together for a long time and I've met all of you. A great number of you have had a lot of fun times with us and you know, you know our weirdness. I definitely want to thank you guys for, for making it out here. Some of you have crossed state lines. Some of you have just come across the street. So definitely thank you for, for coming to, uh, to Doc 580 to, to celebrate with us. Uh, we couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much. We love you all. Have fun. Make sure you get on the dance floor. Dance badly, as badly as you can, because you're going to see us out there doing the same. So thank you very much. Uh, we love you all. Okay. Okay. <laughs>